It turns out that the math section is one of the easiest ones to raise on the ASVAB. So go ahead and check out this video where I'm going to break down a few of the mathematical questions just so you can get the practice that you need. It says here that it takes two minutes to fill your gas tank two-thirds of the way full. How long would it take to fill the whole thing up? Well, if it's two minutes for two-thirds, that means it's going one-third per minute. So after one minute, we're at one-third. After two minutes, we're at two-thirds of the tank. And at three minutes, we would be at three-thirds of the tank, which would be the whole thing. So three should be our final answer, D. So number 12 is talking about a square that has a side length of 4, which means all sides on it are 4. And it wants to know the length of diagonal. Well, one of the straight things you can know right off the bat is that in a square, the diagonal is always whatever the side length is times the square root of 2. So in this case, it's going to be 4 times the square root of 2, which is answer A. In my last video, I used the fact that if you have a square, the diagonal of that square is always just the side length times the square root of 2. But why is that always true? Well, because a square makes a bunch of triangles with right angles when you cut that diagonal, this is actually a right triangle, meaning you can use a squared one side plus b squared the other side equals c squared, which is the diagonal in this case. So when we're looking at this, the sides on a square are the same. So really this just becomes a squared plus a squared since those are both the same thing, and that's equal to c squared. Well, if I combine these two, that gives me 2a squared equals c squared. Well, to get our final answer here, we would take the square root of both sides. So that square root 2 stays out front, but the a squared, the squared cancels out with the square root, just leaving us with a, and that's going to be equal to c, our diagonal. So it's always our side length times the square root of 2. What is the sum of the prime numbers listed below? So in this case, we're not adding all of these together. That's what sum means, adding them together. We're just adding the prime ones. Well, out of this number, prime means that it's only divisible by that number and itself. In this case, 10 is divided by 5 and 2, so that's out. 16 is divisible by 4. 25 is divisible by 5. So we're left with these three guys here, 13, 19, and 47. When you add those together, you end up getting 79, which is answer C. Why is this question way easier than you might think? It's asking you to find the square root of this giant number here, and it's one of these options. Well, because they give you options, it's going to make this much easier. I'm going to consider these numbers that I have written right here. Notice I squared 10, I squared 100, I squared 1,000, and I squared 10,000. Now, these are really easy to do because you just put a 1, and then you count the number of zeros total afterwards. Now, looking at these, my answer right here, 15 million, is going to have a total of 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 numbers, 8 digits here. So that means that I have to be somewhere between this guy and this guy. So that means I'm more than 1,000 but less than 10,000. Well, there's only one option here, and that's A. Two ways to do this question. It says one third of the cube of three is what? Well, first off, let's cube three. Three times three is nine times another three is 27. So what's one third of that? Well, what's 27 divided by three? B, answer nine. I did say there are two ways to do this question. So last time we cubed three and then took one third of that. But keep in mind, if you're cubing three, you're just doing three times three times three. And if we're doing one third of that, we can just cancel out two of these guys right here to give me three times three, which is equal to nine. Now, people, that's only five questions off the ASVAB. So make sure you check out my other videos so that you can keep raising your score in the math sections of the ASVAB. And remember, my name is Daniel Caproni. If you want to help me out in any way, shape, or form, go ahead and hit that like button below. And make sure you subscribe so you can keep getting videos like this one. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I wish you best of luck on your next attempt at the ASVAB.